Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to uh, create a JMeter script to handle the Windows authentication or NTLM authentication uh, for your web application. So uh, let's take an example of an Apache Tomcat which, which pops for a authentication when you click on manager sign. So just uh, when we click it, when we have uh, launched the page and click on uh, manager apps, so it will ask for the credentials. So how are we going to create this kind of script? In your uh, uh, JMeter. So, JMeter, so let's take the, let's create a simple script for that uh, example which will handle the authentication thing. So, now let's take an HTTP request. So, which will, which will, which will launch the home page. Okay, just I'm creating a HTTP request now uh, with a slash, just only slash here. And uh, here the IP address, here the port, and here the HTTP. And remove the uh, HTTP from here, flashes, and remove the port arrow because we already have the port. So now if you click on the view that's tree, and if you run it, Yeah, now we got the document. So this is Apache Tomcat homepage. Let's where it will update the uh, UI. I will select the download of the post format in document. In a document. So it is showing the document. Browser. Sample developer is loading now. So, this is a Tomcat home page. You see Tomcat uh, open. So, now we'll do manager HTML. So, manager HTML just duplicate this and paste this on the manager.html. Okay. I'm changing this to text again, which will cost most of the money. I'm not saving this. Yeah, if you have seen that, uh, we got the uh, error, which is 401. This is a 401. So, to avoid this, to, uh, now I'm making a change in actual changes, which will handle the authentication uh, authentication for your uh, uh, contact, uh, which will generally do all kind of configurations or same configuration for all kind of authentication what we do with uh, that windows authentication address so go to the http uh, config elements http author authorization manager so we have given a uh, 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 feature that will help you to do authentication all uh, uh, ndlm authentication so now if you see i am giving just local host on a parent slash so if you want to uh, if your script want to support authentication to a specific URL, mention a specific URL here. Otherwise, use the parent uh, uh, base URL, which will support for all the requests. Now I'm giving the username here, and I'm giving the password here. And I want to create a domain. No need to give the domain. So if you give the domain, if you use the domain value as uh, 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 as a one of the parameter to encrypt uh, values. So yeah, now give it basic. You have multiple options here. If basic not working for you, please select the other uh, option which you have provided here. Okay, yeah. So now see the view registry. Oh, we have already viewed this. Uh, uh, go to this. Uh, click on. Yeah, I'm making to top. Now I'm running again without clearing it. So now we got the two success. Uh, authentication. So this is a request. Now if you see that here we have that manager dot HTML. Okay, manager dot HTML. It was success now. So if you see the data and the response code, it was a two hundred. So the, uh, now when you add authentication manager, Jupyter will uh, do the entire authentication and the, the browser authentication, browser pop up authentication. So it will support the uh, desktop as well as uh, browser authentications. 
uh, authentication. So we have another way for the browser as well. If your browser, if your browser is using the basic authentication, basic type authentication, you can instead of using authorization manager, you can still uh, you can still uh, control your script without adding an authorization manager. It's another way which I'm telling you now. So go to the uh, manager apps. So now we got still right. So let me give me the username and password here so that then you will understand how we can do that. Now you see that we got the uh, streaming page under request which is something something here. So this is the username and password which are going. Uh, this is the authentication which is going uh, uh, encoded to authenticate. So just to make that. Uh, authentication to work, so I'm disabling this now. Save and uh, uh, go to the options. So uh, function helper dialog. Uh, base and call base 64 and call. Here give the value to the username and password. Admin colon my password. Password. Okay. So generate and copy. So if you see this copy, it's already copied now. Now come to your request, add config element, go to config element and HTTP header manager. Here uh, add, I'm clicking uh, authorization or yeah, or, or we can do one more thing. So, uh, I click in add here or uh, add some clipboard so it's called added. So I'm deleting the second uh, thing and I'm deleting the first other as well. So just they are not perfect script yet. So just we going to do it now as a valid script now. So uh, add the authorization header from the clipboard. So now we put added authorization and base it. So remove the hard coded value here. Hard coded value and remove this. Uh, Remove this, remove this as well. Go to functions and do the same in the code because the code will actually encode. Admin, test, and the rate one, two, three, four is my password. So you see that I am giving the column in between. So please don't forget to give the column. And the after basic, you should have an space here. Okay, so not generated it. I want encode paste the value to generate and copy. Now paste the value. Okay. Now run your house to uh, have a disabled address to manager and I will it. Now run it. Yeah, see now the it also now it's also passed because you are saying the uh, authorization manager header here. Okay. If you check the this value and the browser value will be the same. Uh, browser value will be same because the basic means basic authorization to the authentication type defines what kind of authentication. If it is basic, then it is basic 64. If it is what, then we need to do different configurations for OAuth. So uh, this example only works for authentication, which is basic, and Windows uh, NTLM authentication. Thanks for listening, listeners.